Hey guys, it's Tyler Stroik, founder and owner of Tennis with Tyler. As always, if you like and want to support this channel, please like, comment, and subscribe below. So today, we are going to be talking about how to create topspin. I'm going to give you a couple of drills and different things to think about in order to generate topspin. Topspin is the number one thing that you want to have in tennis. Basically, topspin means you can hit the ball as hard and as far as you want and still get that ball in. Federer, Nadal, Serena, Sharapova, every single person topspin. Watch this, for example. Just to demonstrate what topspin does, right? If I hit a normal ball without topspin, watch what this ball is going to do, right? I'm going to swing, and the ball is going to go straight to the gate. I cannot get it in the court. By using topspin, it's going to allow the ball to dive into the court and stay in. So here we are, right? I'm going to use topspin. So here we are. I'm going to swing. And again, the ball is going to dip into the court, and that's the goal. Topspin will allow you to hit as hard as you want and still allow the ball to go in the court. So number one where players go wrong is their strings are open trying to hit topspin. You always need to make sure that your strings are tilted downward to create topspin. This is because when you swing, you will be able to brush the ball. You want to go and brush the ball. If your strings are open, it's not going to allow you to brush the ball. You need the strings tilted downward, the racket face tilted downward, so you can brush the ball. Watch this. So if my strings are open, right, this is no topspin, the ball is going to hit and go super high up into the air. So here we are. Let me demonstrate. I'm going to swing and the ball goes super high into the air. So if I tilt my racket strings downward, it's going to allow me to create a proper spin and brush the ball, right? When I tell my students to create topspin, I want them to brush the ball. You want to make sure that you are going from low to high. That's how you're going to create spin. You're going to get under the ball and go low to high, and you're going to brush the ball that the ball is going to keep on turning and dive in. That's how you create it, right? So you want to go low to high. So the first thing that I tell all my students that want to create topspin is I tell them to think about going from low to high. Think of a clock. You have six o'clock down here, you have 12 o'clock up here. You want to go from six to 12 o'clock. Once again, I want to go from six to 12. So the first thing I tell my students when they're trying to create topspin is go, low to high or 6 to 12. So here's what you can do. You can get a ball or you can have someone feed it to you and just drop and start going low to high. Once again, I'm going to start swinging low to high. I'm just getting under the ball once again and I'm going low to high. Just getting under the ball, lifting it up. All right, lifting it up one more. Here we are. So I'm going low to high. Also, when you hit topspin, I want you to think about the sound, right? You can listen to the topspin. You will know that you are hitting topspin by not only seeing the ball spin in the air, but by also hearing the sound. You'll hear more of a brush, kind of like I, I tell my clients like you're grating cheese, right? You want to grate the ball. If you don't hit topspin, it will be kind of a pop. You'll hear more of a... If you do hit topspin, listen to this. Ready? It's more of a ch sound, right? Because your strings are literally gripping the ball. So that's how you for topspin. You need to make sure that your swing is super loose and you follow through. You need to let that racket go in order to create topspin. What many people do when they swing is that they swing and they stop. No, in order to get that rotation on the ball, you have to do a full swing. Make sure that you do a full swing. Make sure that you end up over your shoulder. Once again, a full follow through. If I swing and I don't do a full follow through, I'm not going to be able to get that much rotation. But if I do do the full swing and I make sure I follow through, that ball will dive in the court, okay? The next thing that I tell people to do, make sure that your racket and wrist is super loose. You wanna be super loose when you hit in your wrist. You need a lot of rackets. I like to tell all my students, if, in order to create spin, you should be able to hear the whoosh in your shot. So I'm gonna swing, and you can hear that, right? You can hear that whoosh sound. If you're not doing it right, you won't be able to hear your racket. So you wanna swing, and you wanna be able to hear the air compressing on your racket. So really have a lot of rackets. Another drill that you could do that I personally like for myself, it works for me, and it works for a good amount of my students, 
is if you're right-handed. If you're left-handed, you want the left side of the ball. But if you're right-handed, you want to try to brush the right side of the ball. Not just go straight on the ball. Once again, you want to get kind of the right side of the ball. By getting the right side of the ball, it's going to allow you to really grip the ball and generate that spin. So once again, I want to try to get the right side of the ball when I hit. Once again, I want to get the right side of the ball, okay? Especially if you're starting out trying to learn topspin, you want to be able to take it slow. It's not about power. You want to start getting a feel for it, getting that feel of spin, and then build up the speed. So I encourage anyone starting to learn topspin to just go out. And really, this is how fast I want you just to really start getting a feel low to high. Just lifting the ball up over the air. Realize, when I'm trying to do this, I could hit that ball over three tennis nets stacked on top of each other. So that's the thing. You want to hit with a lot of height. You want the ball to arc up and dip in. So pretend that there's three nets, not just one net. You don't want to go short over a net. You really want to go high over the net and have it dip in. And how do we do that? By going up. You want to go from low to high. You want to swing up and follow through. Once again, up and follow through. So another great drill for racket rotation, and once again, rotation equals topspin, is to check what time it is on your wrist. So once again, I'm going to swing and I'm gonna pretend that I have a watch on my hitting arm. For me, it's my right arm. And I'm gonna swing and I'm gonna check what time it is on my wrist. Once again, I'm gonna swing and check what time it is. If I can check what time it is on my wrist, that will ensure that I did the proper follow through. So watch this, this is a perfect drill to create more spin, ready? So I'm going to get a ball, and all I'm going to do, once again, is I'm going to pretend that I have that watch on my right wrist, and I'm gonna swing and check what time it is on my wrist. Once again, I'm gonna swing, what time is it? And swing, what time is it? So the more you can let that racket go, and the watch tip is the perfect way to really check what time it is. The more rotation, the better and more spin you will have. You want to use topspin when you're back in the court and also when you're up in the court, but different amounts, right? So the further back you are in the court, the more height you want to play with. But the closer you are up in the court, the more forward you want to go. But the closer you are, the more forward you want to go and lower over. Why? Because the closer up I get to the net, the less court I have to work Back here, I have so much court to work with, right? I have so much court, tons and tons of space. The further I get up to the net, the less court I have to work with. So that means what? I need more spin. I really need to brush. So another great drill for spin is you're going to come up to the service line with me. So we're going to come up to the service line. And we're going to just try to spin the balls in. So once again, we're going to come up to the service line, come up here. And all we're going to do is we're going to try to spin the ball in. This is a great drill to learn topspin and really teach yourself, right? All you're going to do is you're going to start at the service line and really try to have that ball dip in. I want it to be four or five feet inside the baseline. So here we are. I'm going to swing and try to have it dip beyond, a little bit beyond the service line, all right? Once again, I'm going to start here. I'm going to get a ball. You could have someone feed it to you or you could drop feed yourself and really try to have that ball dip a little bit past the service line, all right? Really start feeling that ball. A lot of people, when they come up to the service line, they miss. And why do they miss? Because they don't hit enough spin. Being up at the service line, I don't have as much court as I would back at the baseline. So I need to create a lot of spin to get that ball to go in. So if you do this drill enough times, you will be able to make your approach shot every single time. And the approach shot is something that you should spin the ball in. It's not a kill shot, it's an approach shot. It's not a finishing shot. So when you get a ball up around the service line, just spin, play with spin, and then you're going to come up and hit a volley, right? So that is a great drill to learn top spin. Just to sum it up, the more rotation you can hit, the more low to high, use the watch tip, or just finish from 6 to 12, you will be able to increase more spin, which means you will be able to be more consistent and make more balls in the court. So next time you're on court, just try to really think that you're brushing the ball. The more top spin you hit, the more consistent you will be. Please, if you have any questions or any comments, drop a comment in the comment box below. I am more than happy to answer. See you guys, happy editing.